The creation of the world by Zeus. In the beginning there was chaos, a formless void of darkness. From this chaos, the earth known as Gaia emerged. Gaia was a vast and beautiful entity, and she became the mother of all things. Zeus, the king of the gods, saw the potential for life in Gaia. He cast his divine gaze upon her, and with a thunderous display of power, he created the sky, which he named Uranus. Uranus stretched out above Gaia, covering her like a protective blanket. Zeus and Gaia's union brought forth many powerful and unique beings, including the Titans. These early gods and goddesses ruled the world, and they were unlike anything that had existed before. However, Uranus the sky did not always bring gentle rains and warm sunlight to the earth. He was a harsh and oppressive god, and he kept his children. The Cyclopes and the Hecatoncheres imprisoned deep within Gaia. Gaia, burdened by her heavy children and tormented by her cruel consort, turned to her son Cronus for help. She provided him with a mighty sickle and asked him to free his siblings. Cronus, with courage and determination, ambushed Uranus and castrated him, ending his tyranny. The blood of Uranus, falling upon Gaia, gave birth to the Furies, the Giants, and the Nymphs, further populating the Earth with a diverse array of beings. With the oppressive Uranus no longer in power, Cronus became the ruler of the Titans and the world. Yet, his reign was not without its troubles, leading to a new generation of gods and the epic conflict known as the Titanomachy. This story, drawn from Greek mythology, explains the creation of the world and the rise of the gods of Olympus. It's a tale of divine power, familial conflict, and the birth of a new era in the ancient mythological world.